The day before, nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green went to a supermarket to meet her representative, Gabrielle Giffords, and learn more about government, I had just committed to pursue my five-year-old dream of running for House of Representatives. I had just uploaded my first YouTube message about it to John Colbert from an activist reporter looking for a district to serve, and only then did I learn about 22-year-old Jared Lee Lobner, who had went on a violent rampage that killed Christina, five others, and critically wounded Giffords. At Christina's funeral, President Obama cautioned, what we cannot do now is use this tragedy as one more occasion to turn on one another. I'd already been wondering, where do we go from here? And once again, was led back to Reverend Martin Luther King, who, if he had not been the victim of another incident of incomprehensible violence, could have been 82. In 1967, Reverend King Jr. said, now, in order to answer the question, where do we go from here, we must first honestly recognize where we are now. What is needed is a realization that power without love is reckless and abusive, and love without power is sentimental and anemic. Power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice, and justice at its best is power correcting everything that stands against love. And this is what we must see as we move on, and our country can do this. I say to you today that if a nation can spend billions a year to fight unjust evil wars, it can spend billions of dollars to put God's children on their own two feet right here on this earth. I'm concerned about a better world. I'm concerned about justice. I'm concerned about brotherhood. I'm concerned about truth. And when one is concerned about these things, he can never advocate violence. Darkness cannot put out darkness. Only light can do that. And I say to you, I have decided to stick to love, for love is ultimately the only answer to humankind's problems. And I'm talking about a strong, demanding love. If you're seeking the highest good, you will find it through love. And the beautiful thing is that when you do, you are moving against the wrong. Because John was right. God is love. He who hates does not know God. But he who has love has the key that unlocks the door to the meaning of ultimate reality. And hate is too great a burden to bear. And then King went on to tell the story about a juror who came to Jesus and wanted to know what he could do to be saved. And Jesus didn't get bogged down in reciting the Ten Commandments or the 600-odd uh, laws of Judaism. He said simply, Nicodemus, you must be born again. And what Jesus was talking about was a transformation of heart and mind to see the divine within yourself, all others, and every situation. And then Reverend King said, America, you must be born again. Let us go out with divine dissatisfaction. Let us be dissatisfied that America will no longer have a high blood pressure of creeds, but an anemia of deeds. Let us be dissatisfied until the tragic walls that separate the outer cities of wealth and comfort and the inner cities of poverty and despair shall be crushed by the battering rams of the forces of justice. Let us be dissatisfied until all those that live on the outskirts of hope are brought into the metropolis of daily security. Let us be dissatisfied until slums are cast into the junk heaps of history and every family is living in a decent sanitary home. Let us be dissatisfied until dark yesterdays are transformed into bright tomorrows. Let us be dissatisfied until men and women will only be judged on the basis of the content of their character. Let us be dissatisfied until every state capital houses a governor who will do justly, who will love mercy, and who will walk humbly with his God. Let us be dissatisfied until from every city hall, justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Let us be dissatisfied until that day when the lion and the lamb shall lie down together. 
Let us be dissatisfied until that day when everybody will talk about God's power and human power. Our dreams will sometimes be shattered and our ethereal hopes blasted. But difficult and painful as it is, we must walk on in these days ahead with an audacious faith in the future. Let us remember, there is a creative force in this universe working to pull down the gigantic mountains of evil, a power that is able to make a way out of no way and transform dark yesterdays into bright tomorrows. Let us realize the arc of the moral universe is long and it bends towards justice. Let us go out realizing the Bible is right. Whatever a man soweth, he shall reap. And deep in my heart, I do believe we will overcome and America will be born again. I'm Eileen Fleming. I'm looking for a district in Florida to serve in the House of Representatives as the first candidate in the Citizens of Conscience Party. Learn more at wearewideawake.org. Power to the peaceful. In solidarity, we can begin the world again, but it must begin by looking within.